The following content is not meant for children. Hello, hello, and welcome back. I am Maester Alex, and this is The Outer Worlds, and welcome to Gorgon. Now, how far did that thing fall? Okay, not that far. And I learned my lesson last time. I'm just gonna... There it is. Apparently that's not going to work, is it? Okay, well... Is there a safer way down? This looks slightly safer. I'm gonna go check out this robot. Query, are you, are, are you upside down? No. Avardi, could you... I don't know. Okay. I'm very tempted to check out this door. Even though what I want's up there. Structural damage detected. Compensating for structural damage. Error, error. Oh, poor guy. There we go. We'll check out that building another time. Let's go see what lies ahead. Those big empty windows. Feels like the building's watching me. No, oh, Law, I'm getting goosebumps. People will go to extraordinary lengths to define themselves, won't they? This is just a facade to hide behind. Neat. Saltuna Pond discovered. Huh. I like this kind of meditation sand area. Tranquility Garden. Neat. Leap. Oh, is that a chest? Oh, okay, hold on. Thing, a thing. Stuff for me. Give, give, give. Mag to zap, fun times barrel pick cartridge, and an axe. Don't need an axe. But still, interesting none the least. Alright, what's up in here? Ambrose Manor. Captain, something here don't feel right. This place has the distinct feeling of a crypt. Hello, janitor. Hello, su food service mechanical. Nice. Clearly the target is up. Many openable doors. Disarmament. Upward flowing stuff. Cool. This is probably the cleanest bathroom I've seen yet. Oh, that's not a workable door. That's not a workable door. That's a workable door. Why, hello. Huh? Apparently not. Well, join me for a drink, Mr. Whoever you are. So who the devil are you? Alex, captain of the of the unreliable. You don't say. Well, make yourself at home, captain. I'm sure we have much to discuss. Do you see that glowing chunk of space rock? That's Gorgon. My birthright, my burden, and the bane of my existence. I hate to drink alone, and this is my third. So join me in raising a glass. To Gorgon. To Gorgon. To Gorgon. May cosmic winds shepherd her to the nearest star. I'm Wilhelmina Ambrose, 
But you can keep it short and call me Minnie. Now what brings you to my house, handsome? I take it you didn't come all this way for the beverages, the starry skies, or the pleasant company. I don't know. All of those are really good. Uh, I'm here about a severed arm. A severed arm? How positively ghoulish. You know this is a private residence, not a curio shop. Does the name Lucky Montoya mean anything to you? Lucky Montoya is my personal freelancer. Fascinating man. Very brooding and theatrical. Always staring into space and twirling a bullet over his knuckles. The more lost we feel, the more we put on a show for others. But if something happened to him... Oh dear. I suppose that makes him my former freelancer now? Yeah. Uh, so what's his arm doing in my ship? I sent Lucky on a dangerous mission to the Gorgon asteroid. Whoever found his remains must have wanted to inform the next of kin. What a time for his luck to run out. We were in the middle of something grand, and I really can't afford another setback. Uh, <laughs> Well, his recording mentioned a high-stakes job. Funny that you should bring that up. How would you like to be my new freelancer? There's been a recent vacancy, and I think you're well-suited to the job. You offer work to everyone who breaks into your home? Must be some kind of Byzantine tradition I ain't know about. I don't believe you thought this through. Or much else, for that matter. I'm looking for someone rough around the edges. A gorgeous, dashing scoundrel type. Incidentally, someone good with their hands. Well, uh, give me the details and I'll let you know. My mother, Dr. Olivia Ambrose, worked for Spacer's Choice at the Gorgon Research Facility. She was brilliant. The top scientist in her field. Until tragedy struck. Hmm, go on. One day, Spacer's Choice shut down all research and evacuated Gorgon. Everyone had to scramble or risk getting left behind. It was chaos. Employees fled for their lives. Mother... Never made it home. I'm told she wasn't the only casualty that fateful day. That must have been real hard on you, losing your mother all of a sudden like that. I'm sorry to hear it, ma'am. Thank you. Ambrose ladies are supposed to be resilient to the unexpected, but... This was especially hard on me. Mother's name has since been dragged through the mud. Spacer's Choice blames her for the collapse of Project Gorgon, and I just know they're lying. Ah, gotcha. Ah, what did they say about her? Everything you can imagine and more. Dereliction of duty, circulating anti-corporate memos, taking longer than average coffee breaks. The list goes on. Mother would not have allowed Project Gorgon to fail. Something happened on that asteroid, and my family took the fall for it. Oh, okay, gotcha. So what did you send Lucky to find? The truth. Mother is gone, Gorgon is silent, and I deserve answers. Answers to what end? That will depend on what we learn. The scope of this cover-up is enormous. Whatever Spacer's Choice is hiding could bring ruin down on their heads. Or it could just be another dead end. We won't know till we look, will we? Say no more, I'm on the case. I knew I could count on you the second you walked through that door. You won't regret this, Captain. All the evidence I need should be in Mother's journal. You can find it in her office on Gorgon, in the heart of the old research facility. Cool. Uh, first I have some questions about this job. I'm not surprised. Between the family drama and the corporate conspiracy, it must feel like you've stepped on a landmine. Speak freely, Captain. All right, uh, why did you wait before starting the investigation? I didn't want to go anywhere near Gorgon. Once I exhausted all my options, the search led me back here. I even had Mother declared legally dead. Would you believe it took five years to process the paperwork? I'm not sure I see the connection. Mother's body is still on Gorgon. 
No body means no death certificate, which means no inheritance. I killed Mother, just on paper, of course, so I could claim my inheritance. We wouldn't be standing here if I didn't have access to the family fortune. I once assumed the mansion and the money would be enough to redeem the Ambrose name. But even in Byzantium, prestige must be earned, and it can so easily be lost. Are you saying you just want to break into high society? Break back into high society, yes. I thought you were trying to vindicate your mother. I'm trying to do several things at once. None of them easy. The smear campaign against Mother was the work of cowards. I'm vindicating the family name for her, for the colony, and for my future. Uh, what can you do for Halcyon? At the very least, I can guarantee that we learn from our mistakes. A failure on the scale of Project Gorgon should never be allowed to happen. This colony is in trouble. The lunatics at Spacer's Choice are running the asylum. And we need better people to wield their influence. After Gorgon, I quickly discovered that the Ambrose name was... Cursed, for lack of a better term. I had no place among the decision makers. No seat at the table. That is why I'm clearing the record and vindicating the Ambrose line. For Mother. For me. And for the generations who will one day inherit Halcyon. Say no more. Point me towards the journal and I'll be off. Thank you, Captain. You won't regret this. When you reach Gorgon, pack a weapon you trust. The corporate lockdown hasn't stopped the wilderness from squirming in through the cracks. Good to know. What can I expect to face on Gorgon? I've never understood why, but Gorgon is teeming with marauders. They almost seem drawn to sorrow and misfortune. Then there's the test subjects those who survived anyway. Ravenous creatures left behind like so much salvage. Uh, the more I hear about the asteroid, the worse it sounds. Perhaps we should cut the Q&A short in that case. I don't want you having second thoughts. There's a little saloon near Gorgon's landing pad, the Sprat Shack. Lucky was renting a room, so if you want to follow his trail, that would be the place to start. Oh, you think maybe they got a little mascot? Like a sprat in a tiny hat? Just so we understand each other, money is no object. I'm willing to squander the family fortune if you get me what I want. Between your payment and any salvage you happen across, you'll walk away from this rich enough to buy a mansion of your own. How does that sound? What's the catch? There's always a catch. The catch? No one's ever done this before, and the only person who tried is a corpse. Believe me, that's enough. Here's your nav key, Captain. Safe travels. Nice. Ah, uh, maybe you don't need to hear this from me, but I'm sorry about your mother. Spacer's choice should be the one apologizing, but... Thank you. Sincerely. A word of advice before you go, Captain. Trust no one. Mother's office is in the heart of the Gorgon facility. You're free to salvage anything that isn't nailed down. I only want what's mine. Mysterious heiress, unexpected gainful employment. It's like something out of a detective serial. Don't worry about us. We're well versed in helping ourselves to anything that's not nailed down. Nice. Well, that is certainly a a view on that asteroid. Well, let's go take a quick look around. Master bedroom key. I theoretically could. Toss ball card. Music box. Necklace. Glacier water. Not in the bin. Ugh. Another empty bin. How unpleasant. Oh, hello. Hidden bin. Hey, light ammo. All right. Let's explore this place some more. Hey, guys. Charging pad. Your old conferency table. Terminal. 
Logs. Recent activity. Pantry list. Hmm. Needs 80 key, 80 things to get in there. And I've got 71. Dang. Oh well. Well, this place is certainly pretty fancy. Pretty fancy. Hello, bits. Oh, an empty thing. Any more? Yeah, there's that big one there. Hello, big one there. Dual ring, bit cartridge. Don't need an assault rifle ultra, though. Oh, hello, Tranquility Garden bin. Ow. I'll be fine. Bit cartridge, not worth the broken leg. Hello? Thank you, stuff. Rabid sprats. Oh. Don't need sprat hide. Hello, thing. That also takes 80. Good God. Empty cell, please. Yes, and heavy, heavy ammo. Good. Bypass shunt, always good. Pneumatic piston. Coolant tank. Bypass shunt. Groundkeeper's journal. Sweep of the tranquility garden. Oil the fish and repeat. Kitchen key card, hell yeah. Shovel, pickaxe, adreno. Armor parts, yes. Don't need glacier water, thanks. I did get the kitchen thing, so that's great. All right, well, let's go. Please remember this unit as it was before the fall. I wish I could fix you, buddy. I do. All right, let's go back at go back and check out that kitchen, cause. No reason not to. Run, run, run. All right, kitchen key card. All sorts of strange tools. Fine by me. Plates, cooking stuff. Huh. More glacier water. Ige, iceberg, or rum and some iceberg aged whiskey. Not, I can't believe it's not Borst. Apple shake. Hmm. Can't go through that door. Wonder why we're here. Huh. Nothing really interesting or valuable. Don't know why I would need... Pancake mix? Why I would need to get it... Why this would need to be sealed up so tight? I'm very curious. Oh well. Well, this looks like a great place for me to take a break, so here's where I'm going to say... Thank you all for joining me. I really hope you're enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying making it for all of you. If you do, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and of course share, because sharing is caring. Also, please check out the links down below, because that's where all the really good stuff is. 
And with that being said, I shall see you all next time.